Hello, good evening. Now I would like to share to you my incubator design for uh, for my not chicken before chicken, but now if the application for this is uh, for my topical words, I will show you my design, the parts, the the costing, and I hope you will like it and see you. Now it's time to I want to show you my what's this my incubator actually mostly of the incubator are the same uh, the same in the concept uh, difference in sizes only so this is my incubator in my incubator I'm using a 3 fourth uh, marine ply board marine ply board this is my water container on the top uh the switch the heater switch my adjustable heater switch uh my heater switch is with control my automatic thermostat and hydrostat i will explain it to you later uh my this is my light light i'm using two fan the two units of fan in this design the ventilation holes my ventilation holes is left and right uh turner my turner is with motor uh so that the the turner they will automatically turn uh you will set the time the timer so that the the tray will turn by itself hatcher tray my hatcher tray pbc turning motor my water dish uh this is all so at least you can my the size of my maybe the size of my is i will check i forgot the size is 40 i think 40 by 60. yes it's 40 by 60 dimension uh the my box so i will remove the the water container so you can see So this is the position of the fan and the heater. As you can observe, you can also use a bigger fan, one unit only, but uh, bigger than this. I will show you the side view of this, uh, my incubator. So this is the side view of my incubator. It the the heat came from this heater. It will blow going down. And in this part the the air will the air will return to the fan. Circling on the cycle of the hot air will go this way. see so this will be the the side 
positioning of the positioning of its parts the heater the fan the turner uh, the what's this I forgot hot shirt tray and the water dish so I will in order not not to open constantly the the what's this the door of your incubator because uh, because uh, normally if you open the door the heat will come out and then again you will generate the heat to be, uh, you will uh, put the heater so it will reach again the certain point of degree for the eggs to hatch if it's too hot already do not open your door just open the ventilation hole this one open the ventilation hole and then and then observe your thermostat if it will go down and then again close you can close the ventilation hole so it will maintain the certain heat so once again this is my this is my incubator design you can also use this is just a plain what's this a plain marine ply board but in for additional aesthetics of your box uh, you can use acrylic acrylic sheets on top of this one you can glue you can glue or uh, uh, what's this use double adhesive tapes to make it more cleaner and presentable and put aluminum on its sides so for additional aesthetics only so it will, it will look more professional your incubator will be have nice looking I'm using here the glass so you can see the you can observe the eggs from the outside if already hatch if it's too dark you can on the the light the light the light here my friends is for viewing purpose only not for heating the our heat source here is the heater at the back I will show you again the heater huh? see this heater this will provide the heat of your whole incubator so once again this is our incubator design by the way my by the way our incubator for the the application for me of my incubator before 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 uh, I made this for my chicken and ducks but now I am going to make this one for what's this for bird purposes if I have already uh, uh, big big birds tropical birds I can uh, use this one to increase the mortality rate and also to increase the profit but if you have a uh, small birds small small uh, for example uh, parakeets uh, Africans African lovebirds budgies you don't need to invest in this one so now I will show you the how much will it cost to assemble this one once again I will I will turn my incubator I will turn my incubator show you what's inside the hot chair tray the water dish the tur egg turner my two fan two fan two units of fan my thermostat slash hydrostat my switch my heater switch with uh, adjustable heater switch and my light switch again I will show you what it looks like inside view so here this is what it looks like with a side view the heater 
I'm using two fan in this uh, design. Uh, my water tank at the top. Okay, now I will show you the parts and how much will it cost. <laughs> Now my friends, I will show you the the parts of my incubator and how much it cost. Why is very small? Dang, 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 dang. Uh, okay. Now the first, the first part of our incubator. No, the first of our part of our incubator is the egg turner. Uh, the egg turner, this design is a 32 egg whale poultry turner tray with PCB turning motor for incubator tray. This price is 1,129 plus shipping of course. I will not mention it all. But take note my friends, this price is pre-lockdown pre price. I don't know how much uh, today. Next is my timer, around 340. Uh, I will I will suggest use a Sino timer because this brand is uh, very good. Sino timer, you sponsor me next time. <laughs> next is my thermostat. My thermostat, I want to use this thermostat, the XM18 Egg Incubator Controller Thermostat and Hygrostat. Uh, because this thermostat will automatically, when there's too much heat, there will, uh, it will automatically go down to its program level. So the fan, uh, I use two fans, around 704. My heater, my, the heater for the incubator broader voltage, 12 volts by uh, 200 watts. Actually, my friends, before when I was uh, young, when I was younger, I made an incubator out of carton box, and I use only bulbs, and it worked. Before when I was in elementary, because I was a scientist already when I am in elementary. <laughs> uh, I remember that one. I already made that one, and it worked. So this is for only additional egg egg. For, for your design to make it more beautiful and presentable. Next is your play board. Next is your rocker switch. Next is your this is optional. If you use if you use the fluorescent type of light, you don't need a receptacle. Uh, just the, just this one optional. The receptacle and the light bulb. Uh, the wall plug socket, the locking clips uh, make sure, by the way, it's very important that you will make sure that your door will lock, will suck the air inside, will trap all the air inside. Because uh, if your, if your, what's this, if your incubator or if your door have leaking, it cannot maintain the certain heat of your incubator. That's why you need, uh, what's this, uh, suction rubber edge. I forgot to put it here and lastly the mail plug so roughly in this in this uh, part computation roughly you can get around more or less I think it is more 5,000 because I didn't include the the price of the playboard here the playboard already is the uh, Three fourth playboard, I think, uh, 700 like that. I think price right now, plus, as I said uh, earlier, if you want to make your design more decent, more, more professional like design, uh, you can you can use uh, what's this acrylic acrylic plastic sheets. So it will, the wood will hide and the plastic white will cover and you will put uh, at the edge of your box, you will put aluminum edge, uh, aluminum angle bars. 
So it will uh, your design will look more beautiful than professional. Uh, okay, I hope and I always hope that you will get uh, bits and bits of ideas from my from my science science. Okay? Uh, thank you so much.